the mats around us. Say that you're in a plane that has just taken off. Instead of looking from the ground, suppose that we move with the airplane. We see a static wing and we also see the wind rushing towards us at hundreds of meters per second. A particle of air follows a trajectory called a streamline. Planes fly because of the airlift resulting from the way that the air moves around the wings. This motion is described by the Navier-Stokes equations. We need to solve them to find the pressure and the velocity field that tells us how the air moves. But don't worry, you won't be seeing these complicated equations anymore. Instead, let's see in detail what happens around the wings. Relatively far away, the air moves with a constant horizontal speed. But when we get really close, the air moves much slower and, at the surface of the wing, the air sticks and doesn't move at all. This region where the air moves slowly is called the boundary layer. Inside, the air behaves like a viscous fluid not completely different to honey. The maths describing the thin boundary layer are well understood, but what happens if there is a bump on the wing? For example, this could be a rivet that keeps the wing together. Mathematically, we have to separate the flow in three layers or decks. This method of solution is called a triple deck theory. We will find different behaviors in each deck and we will have to make sure that they match at their boundaries. The upper deck is outside of the boundary layer. Particles of air move in a straight line. The middle and lower deck are inside the boundary layer. In the lower deck, the streamlines originally start to follow the bump they reach a point where the float separates from the wing. The swirliness appears to the right of the bump. The technical term for this is that the flow becomes turbulent. The swirliness is problematic because it affects the airlift and the plane will have to burn more fuel to keep gaining altitude. This is why mathematicians investigate ways to get rid of the swirliness or at least to push it back further. This is cheaper to do in paper than to build lots of different wings and test them all. Airplanes often fly through clouds, and a layer of water deposits on the wings. This could also be the icer, applied before taking off and used in very cold conditions to avoid freezing of the wings. What happens to the flow of air with water in a pump? The application of triple deck theory says that the point of separation is pushed back. This is a consequence that the water doesn't follow the bump like this, but like this. The water's bump is smoother than the rivet itself, and for the turbulence that's a very good thing. So now you know, water on the wings could be a good thing, and this means that you'll be landing safe. That's it! Thank you for watching, and from all of us the mathematicians, happy travel!